I actually had an entire story that I broke and was planning on doing before the pandemic. So things I'm waiting and things are shifting. Also things are shifting with filmmaking and the studio. So I know Gal and I would love to, to make another film together and we'd love to do another Wonder Woman, but we'll have to see. This is quite the holiday present to give fans. The release timing is perfect, but I know it's probably been a difficult journey for you. How difficult of a journey and how much time did it take for you to reach the decision to simultaneously release the film in theaters and HBO Max for this big blockbuster of a film? You know, it's the kind of thing that if you told me before this pandemic that we would ever talk about releasing it on streaming, it, it would have been the worst thing that ever happened. You know, it would have been terrible. The weird thing, this year is just so odd, you know, and of course, terrible. It changes how there is no, there are no good options, really, for so many things in our lives. So you have to look at your priorities. And in my case, definitely as a filmmaker, the most important, my number one priority is is having an, you know, a shared experience with with the world and making something where you're engaging with your audience. And so this year, the, suddenly it felt like a great way to try to just, listen, if you're not gonna have the proper release and you don't know when that would ever even happen, why not give it away in a holiday season and at least try to bring some joy to people's lives this year. Were you on board immediately or did it take you a No, little? it took some It took some thought. You know, it took some thought about what all the options were, but you know, I got excited too at the mere idea of it, I will say from the first conversation. Thank goodness. I'm so happy that you decided to release it. And I know millions of folks out there are as well. And they are about, to, they got to get ready for this because it is all sorts of fabulousness coming to oh, us from the eighties. You. you guys, <laughs> you know, the parachute pants, the shoulder pads, the big hair, you guys nailed it. How did you decide on settling on 1984 specifically for this film? I think of every era, there's like a year that becomes the quintessential year of that time. So 1984, not only is it the book and the Van Halen album and, you know, all the great movies that we remember, but it really was, I felt like the pinnacle of the 80s. It was quintessential top of Western civilization. And so there was, I was really craving having Wonder Woman come to our modern world and, and facing enemies born of our modern times. But it was actually the easiest thing to do was to demonstrate that in a different era, which was the 80s, where where that's kind of where we were setting the stage for everything that we went on to become. But it's so fun to collide her with that period. How did you decide the new powers, the new classic powers that Wonder Woman would embrace in this film? Well, it was so fun because really you get to say like, what if, you know, she's been around doing this now for a while, what what would she have figured out to do? Well, she will have figured out how to do everything so much better. And so we really set out to say, this is Wonder Woman at the very top of her game. She's learned how to utilize every single thing she has. And God was that fun, like coming up with new things to do with the lasso and the tiara and all of these different things. It was so much fun. Be completely honest with me here, Patty, because, you know, we're girls now. <laughs> have you and Gal talked about, have you floated around the idea of another Wonder Woman film? And if so, where do you see Wonder Woman going next? You know, I don't know. I, I actually had an entire story that I broke and was planning on doing before the pandemic. Now I want to wait and see see where we are and see what I'm feeling, see what I'm feeling I think Wonder Woman would want to talk about next. Things I'm waiting and things are shifting. Also things are shifting with filmmaking and the studio. So I know Gal and I would love to, to make another film together and we'd love to do another Wonder Woman, but we'll have to see. Because of like production aspects of things and shooting. Yeah, yeah, like all, kinds of, all kinds of things are really changing. So we'll have to, you know, we, we hope it'll come back again, but nothing is set in stone. Well, I'm going to take that as a dot, 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 indefinite, maybe. So, so um, <laughs> Cheetah, oh my gosh, great villainess to have in the mix for this Good. film. Love seeing two powerful women go at it like they do. What makes Kristen Wiig the perfect villainess, the perfect Cheetah? Well, Kristen is such an amazing artist and actress. I've always thought she was an incredible actress because all of the humor that we know her for is so character-based and amazing, you know? And I just wanted somebody who could start playing a character that I knew she could nail and then evolve into this much stronger, serious performance. And I believed in her and I believed that she could do it. And like, honestly, Gal and I were super fans of hers. We would follow her around awards events, trying to hang around with her. <laughs> so the idea that all of those things came together into this one place was just a dream.